I just got done watching the GOP primary debate on CBS News, and I have to say that it is the most wildest, craziest, batshit, insane debate that I have seen this election cycle. And the American people should look at that debate and be disgusted by how these people who are aspiring to be in the most powerful position in the world, the most, um, you know, the most, the most important elected office within the United States of America think that this is some sort of game and it's some sort of reality show where they, they, they can act like this. Now, the remaining candidates that are left within the Republican uh, uh, clown show primary are Donald Trump, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, Ben Carson, and John Kasich. And throughout the entire debate, it was just nonstop back and forth arguing, not over ideas, but amongst each other. Now, John Kasich and uh, Ben Carson didn't really attack uh, or attack the other candidates. They actually were calling for people to stop uh, attacking one another and you know argue for the ideas. And you know, a as a Democrat, I have to say you know I I, I applaud them for at least wanting their party to s to not fight amongst each other or whatever. But it was mainly Donald Trump, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, and Ted Cruz who just, I mean, this debate, they just lost all, all their sense. And it, it just devolved into, uh, I, it's, I can't even, words can't even describe what I just saw. And I mean, you had Marco Rubio attacking Ted Cruz saying that, you know, how do you understand what, what uh, this such and such channel said about me? You can't even speak Spanish. And then Ted Cruz was like, or he started speaking in Spanish, and it's just, you know, th th this is this is why people are turned off from politics, is because these, you know, and, and whether you like the Republican Party or not, and I don't, I am a Democrat, they are still the other half of the political uh, uh, power within the United States of America, and they should at least be arguing for sensible uh, uh, legislation to be, uh, you know, passed. If they are elected uh, president of the United States, and, and you don't see that, they're, 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 I mean, I mean, it's sickening when you can see these candidates dehumanize um, immigrants. It's, it's disgusting. It's disturbing. And then, and then, and then they live in this uh, delusional fairy tale bubble where they think that uh, you know the the economy is somehow. In, in shambles, and we're and we're we're almost uh, close to living in a banana republic. But then they have amnesia, and actually, this was brought up during the debate. Um, and, and and you know, Jeb Bush was attacked because you know the decisions that his uh, his dumbass brother uh, George Bush made that crashed our economy. And he said that no, it's Obama's fault for the deficit that was handed to him. Now, President Obama has slashed the deficit by uh, two thirds since his uh, time in office. And that's, I, I have to give it up for President Obama because he has faced obstructionism from a Congress who literally wants to just sit in office and do nothing. And that's not how you govern. You know, I think a lot of these politicians need to remember that it's not about you being in office. It's about you being a public servant and serving the American people. And when you have people who are calling for the complete dismantlement of the Affordable Care Act, which beforehand we used to have 44,000 Americans die every single fucking year. And then these sick sons of bitches want to go back to a system where 44,000 Americans would die due to lack of health insurance. And they want to, you know, talk about 9 11. Yeah, it's sad that 3,000 Americans died, but can you guys, uh, you know, tell me about why you think it's okay for 44,000 Americans to die because they don't have health? Uh, health insurance coverage, very sick and immoral people, uh, and then um, and then you have them calling for a uh, flat tax rate. I, I mean, it's just it, it's it's gotten into a a point where it's just they're they're just they're just loons. I mean, when Ben Car or uh, when Bernie Sanders gets the Democratic Party's nomination, he's not even going to even have to debate uh, what they're saying. He's just going to say play tape. Exhibit A, and then drops mic and leave. And this is going to be the last thing I have to say. I hope everyone sees it, this debate because this shows you how insane the Republican Party is. And this kind of 
nuttiness doesn't stop during the election season. They will govern this country the way they are arguing on this stage. And that's not how America is supposed to run. And that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.